Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I made this little Pythagoras thing. Took out a polygon here. Um, you shift click it to show the handles and to delete one of the handles, you just drag it and you make a rectangle yeah, like this, like this. Um, not a rectangle, of course, a rectangular triangle. Yeah, sort of like that. Okay. That's gonna be our triangle. And you can look inside. And we wanna use a couple of variables A, B, and C. Um. And then to calculate, we want to set C to something, um, which is A plus B squared, and taking the square root of that, and using the textual version. It's a lot simpler here. So C becomes A squared plus B squared, and we're going to take the square root of that. Okay. And maybe call this calculate. Okay, now when we set this to ticking here, then we can already see that C is going to update accordingly. So if we change B um C is updating. Let's do the classical one, three, four, and five. Yeah, seems to work. Um, now we would like to have a larger display for the results, so we just take a text here and say, okay, the text's numeric value should be our triangles C. Okay, let me make that ticking too. So it shows the um, the length of the hypotenuse. Um, and then we also would like our triangle to reflect um, the the variables. So we can say, okay, the triangle's length, which is the, the y direction here, that should be um, the same as it's a, and that looks a little bit tiny maybe, but we get to that in a second, and the triangle's width should be b. Alright, so that's a triangle, um, but to make it a little bit larger we can just multiply it by uh, 50 for example. Same for B. Multiply by 50. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. Then you just give it a name and you save it. There you go. Okay, I did this before. Um, so I'm not going to say that again. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching.